Welcome back to another episode of Unturned. Today we'll be playing on the new map A6 Polaris. Join us as we venture into one of the most popular Polish servers, make the sewers our home and do a ton of PvP, raiding and become the richest group on the server. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more Polaris content in the future, don't forget to leave a like, let's aim for 500 likes. And if we reach that goal, I will post more Polaris videos. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe. A huge percentage watching right now aren't and each one helps the channel more than you think. Also, in my last video, I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize, please join my Discord and contact me there. Today, we'll be giving away a radioactive goggly cap. To have a chance to win this mythical, make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Team members also have a higher chance to win. I would like to shout out today's sponsor, which is Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can create your own dedicated servers for popular games like Unturned, Rusk, Ark, Valheim and Minecraft in no time. With servers located all around the world, you can connect with players and friends with anywhere at any time. Not only do they offer quick setup and affordable prices, they also provide user-friendly workshop and plugin installer to enhance your gameplay experience. Plus, with our exclusive code LDG, you can get a 30% discount on your purchase. Choose Pi Hosting and elevate your gaming experience today. Click the link in the description to get started. Alright boys, we are back from a pretty good loot run. Technically, we just got finished from a raid. Got ourselves some pretty, pretty good loot. A lot of guns from it. Now, right now, I'm just gonna put everything in here. My team likes to organize, but not me. Because there's still a lot of PvP going on. And we are currently living in the sewers. And we've just done a lot of PvP next to the base that we raided. So there's a lot of loot still lying around. And people keep coming back. People keep killing each other. So we're going back. We're getting as much loot as possible. And then returning to base. Depoting. Probably there's still gonna be people around. So we gotta be careful. Because I don't wanna die. Got full mercenary on me. Insane guns. Yeah, this is the base that we just raided. Gun oil. Not too good. Yeah, my teammate is still over here. Currently we're a duo though. Oh, there's a naked. Hello. Well, I think they're talking or something. I don't know what's going on. All right, there's some loot over here. There's just nothing. Oh, there's a loot pile here, though. Uh, Merlin, some ammo, a bunch of clothes, another loot pile. Yeah, there's loot piles that we missed, basically. Yeah, mercenary clothes, a bunch of ammo, a bunch of meds. Definitely taking those. Another loot pile here, too. Amazing. Yeah, this one doesn't have anything that good. Looks like a bunch of clothes. Polaris flower, I'll take that, though. They had a billion carrots. All right, now we go back, depot, and we will return. I think we got more profit from actually PvP than the base raid. Even though it was live, it was like a four-man team base raid. And they all rage quit now, which is kind of funny. We got ourselves a, a lot of loot, and I'm really happy with it. Alright, so, a little Liam does game tactic that we do occasionally on these kind of servers is that we suicide and we drop everything in our base. And we go out there completely naked just with a gun. And you guys might be asking, why? Just so that if we do die, since there's a lot of shots going on, a lot of people are above us. If we do die, then they would only get our gun. They wouldn't take our clothes, they wouldn't take our meds, and they wouldn't get any good guns. We're literally just running around with a grill. Like some little muzzle. There's a lot of shots going on. Since currently it's me and the duo. Oh, live base. Found ourselves another live base. Oh, that's my teammate. He scared me for a sec. Right, let me get closer. Since they're probably gonna be door camping. Maybe I should have brought a melee actually. But yeah, the server is normal times loot. So getting loot is not that easy either. Yeah, there's people on very close to that base. Right, let's try to kill one. Get his loot pile. Get out of here. There's people sniping as well. There's a loot pile over there. Two loot piles actually. Oh, guy there. One guy dead another naked oh there's people on the base one guy dead and i'm dead all right and that is why we just go out with one gun now we do the same thing over and over until we get lucky all right tpas and servers kind of weird there's literally 55 players on the server guys it's, it's very populated all right boys we are back for round two there's a guy right over there i'm pretty sure there's a third party it's not just us I also brought myself some ladders, but uh, yeah, the area's claimed, obviously. Grenades. There's a guy. Bro, I had to put a whole magazine into him. He's dead, though. There's a guy up there. He is so weak. How is he not dead? Yeah, full mercenary, I think. We got ourselves a mercenary back. Yeah, this guy is suicidal or blood out or something. All right, insane loot pile. There's another loot pile here. A bunch of more clothes. Empty kinney. Yeah. This is what I was talking about. We got ourselves a full set, a very good, a bunch of guns. We just came here with one gun and letters. So now what we do is we're gonna home, probably. There's a guy there. He's dead. I don't know if I could should go check his loot. Yeah, my teammate got a lot of loot as well. All right, so we kind of left those guys alone. They were just camping on top of the roof. They weren't jumping off with loot or any of that, so we did leave. The loot that we got was literally from a third party, but at least we did get quite some profit as well. Now what we're going to do is we're looking around for potential other bases. Maybe we will find 
some raiding gear as well. Server is stacked with players. So it is kind of scary. There's a huge base over here. Jesus. Yeah, I don't think we have enough to raid this base, my guy. All right, boys. So we just found a lot of chopped trees. A lot of shots in the background as well. But with all of these chopped trees, yeah, I, I heard people inside. This is a live base. Now, we do have like one or two C4 in base. And I think... Oh, well, my teammate shot. But yeah, I do think we can craft even more. Yeah, they just wore clothes inside. I don't know if we should just wait out here. Or we should go back to base and get C4. I mean, one of us could go back to base and the other one just waits here. So I'm just trying to see if they push out. I don't know who's the owner. I don't know how many people are inside. It could be a five-man team. It could be a solo. But we'll see. Oh, they opened. And I am dead. Bruh. My teammate went back to base to get C4. As soon as he did that, they, they opened... But yeah, we do know it's a two-man team. We know that the layout of the base is not that weird. It's not honeycombed or any of that. But we will return at some point. And they are saying XD in the chat. I think he was the one that killed me. Alright, bro, don't worry. Wait, I don't know if he's actually talking to me. Uh, anyway, we're back in base. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, and we have... Oh, we have 4C4. Oh, lovely. That's pretty good. Alright, let me prepare. Let me get myself some items. Now, the thing about the server is there is no vault system. So when we're running around for raiding, we're running around with raiding gear in our adventure, which is, which is you know, pretty scary because if we die, we lose everything. So let's take a walnut. Let's take some magazines. A lot of shots are going on above us, as always. Let's take a vector and we will go out there. Maybe we'll raid another base first, though, just so that we wait for them to get even more loot in that base. So it'll be even more profitable. All right, let's get out of here. Alright boys, so we actually found another base, it's metal and it's not live. So we're gonna give this one a try, and then we will still have more C4 probably. Yes sir, a bunch of uh, lockers, lovely. Right, let's put C4 there for now, hopefully some good load, please, I beg you. Oh yeah, broke, it looks like there is some loot. Uh, Brenter, some energized snowballs, there's gunpowder, two gunpowder as well, but that's pretty good. Some walls, okay. You know what, I'll put this wall instead. Oh, missing pillar, never mind. Scrap wall, maybe I can make a pillar? Yes, sir. We'll put the pillar right over there and basically we just took over this base. It's claimed. Let's just destroy this then, claim flag down. We need to do another pillar on the other side. And there we go. So if the owners do come back online and they decide, yo, we're gonna use this base, we're gonna put loot in here, I would just salvage the wall and bam, we get all of the loot again. Let's take the tape, the grenades, yellow beret, we already have one. All right, now let's head to the live base raid. We still have more C4, so we good. All right, boys, we are back. They are still online, which is exactly how I wanted. They won't log off with the loot. All right, one C4, it broke. A lot of loot on the floor. I'm going in. Alright, I killed them both, destroyed all the beds. Let's go. Right, let's see what loot there is. Grenades, a lot of wood. Jesus, they have so much wood. Actually, since they have this much wood, I can make myself a roof and people cannot counter, which is scary. But the area is claimed. Alright, well, they kind of proved the base. They did actually do a honeycomb or an airlock. Alright, we got ourselves an eco, empty, empty. Okay, well, these are empty. It's not good. Bro, all the crates are empty. They're still lockers we gotta raid. Yeah, let's see what we could take. We could take all of the logs, all of the scrap. Scrap is very important after all. Cyan crystals. We could salvage everything. Gives us a lot of scrap, a lot of cloth, which is always useful. A lot of rope. Okay. We gotta return with the C4 or Brent or something to raid the lockers. Yeah, I still have one gunpowder on me, but I'm pretty sure we need two for C4. And I'm not sure what we have in base. Yeah, my inventory is full. Let's drop the roof. A lot of stocks too. Can, we'll take that gladly. Alright, well, insane live base raid, not that insane. But still, we, we did finish our live raid, kind of. We'll, we'll return. Alright, boys, back in base. We're currently depoting from those double raids that we just did. We're still not done, obviously, but putting stuff that we got so we don't lose them. Especially the fact that we both have a full inventory. Place the radio there. Place the can there as well. But the thing about living in the sewers is that you would know when people are above you. And right now, there are people literally above us. But I don't want to run out there with all of this loot on me, you know? Uh, we are back. All of the loot is still here. Owners aren't here. This one broke. Empty. Amazing. Amazing start. Oh, no, man. Are they actually empty? Are they all empty? There's a walnut or an eco, whatever that was. Oh, okay. Well, this one has loot. Parachutes, Merlin. Yep, this raid wasn't that good, unfortunately. I mean, it was live, so it was, at least it was a bit fun. But yeah, well, you know what? We're gonna take everything and scrap everything, so at least we get materials. All of the clothes will be salvaged. All of the vests, literally everything. And I'll we'll stack them. We'll go back to base. Owner's rage quit, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my teammate is here. 
He's gonna help me salvage and move everything. I think there's someone in the sewers. Oh yeah, there he is. It's uh, dead. He's dead. Uh, okay, a lot of metal. Actually, a lot of metal. Damn. He has Bavoir, Kinney. All right, not too bad. Poor guy was just looting and I just came up from behind him. Nah. <laughs> Right, so I made my own personal shelf, and on this personal shelf, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna place lockers, and I'm just gonna put loot in them, trying to get the perfect jump. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, I didn't realize you could jump on top of them. Okay. Yeah, maybe I'll start organizing my loot a bit, because it's uh, my room is just a mess. But I actually do like living in the sewers. It's actually really, really cool. Something different, not the usual insane base, you know? Alright, boys, so we are back to this locker that we found earlier. And we brought... Yeah, we, we raided it. Nothing that good, though. It was a bunch of junk. It wasn't worth it. At least it was just one shot away, though. So, you know what? It's not too bad. All right, there's a lot of shots going on. There's a loot pile. Oh, there's a guy. Is he trying to snipe me? All right, Octavio guy is dead. I'm still getting shot at. There's a guy there. There's a second guy. And the third guy is coming from behind me. I'm gonna die. There's no way. Yeah, I died. Yeah, well, there was a four-man team. My other three-man team, they are all in base, so... I was kind of far from base, too. Oh, there's a guy. Alright, Santa Claus is dead. I didn't have anything that good. At least we got clothes, because I was running around naked with a gun. Oh, there's a guy in here. Alright, Turtle Shirt dude is dead. There's another dude. This guy dead as well. Oh, I only had fish and a saw and bandages. Insane loot. Right, let's check out what this dude had. Block. Nothing good. Alright, boys. It is day four on the server. I did log out for a bit. I am currently solo as well. So we're gonna do what we want to do. And probably die a billion times. I'm gonna go naked as always with a gun. We're gonna go do a loot run. I have no idea where I am going to loot. Maybe today I can actually focus on quests as well. Now the server isn't... There's not that much people. There's only seven right now. Compared to yesterday evening, we were over 60 players, which is kind of insane. But yeah, we're gonna go on a... Uh, gonna go on a good old loot run. Perhaps find ourselves some live raids we could do later. Get ourselves a Polaris flower, lovely. Maybe we can make ourselves some C4. Do ourselves a solo raid. I haven't done a solo raid in, in a while on the server, actually. Alright, boys, save zone. Making myself some good old quests. Got myself some lotuses as well. Got ourselves farmer four. Metal chunks. I have no idea how to do that. I literally have no clue. Pretty sure you get a seed. But right now, it's not important. We got almost 2k in the bank. Getting rich. We finished ranger one as well. We need the block for this. We'll do that later. And that's for you. Adventure two is also done. Got ourselves another insane lotus. This one is done too. Now we just need to do the dead zone one. Right, let's drop those. We need the money. We got ourselves a filter, so... Yeah, we'll drop metal. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a guy. Alright, and I'm dead. I have no idea how I did not kill him, but... Oh, there's a guy. And I'm naked. I think he seems, um... Is he AFK? There's a zombie. The, the zombie's gonna give me away. Oh, wait, he's clueless. Alright, well, easy Rex to riches. <laughs> what the hell? Poor guy. Alright. <laughs> I kind of feel bad now. He had Walnut, he had Kinney, Blicky. Well, what can I say? Insane Rex riches, ladies and gentlemen. Literally from nothing to full military in four punches. Per guy probably is like, I don't know, he's saying something in, in, in chat. I don't know what that means. Yeah, he's a solo. He doesn't have gold, so he's probably new to the game. I feel bad now. I genuinely feel bad. Anyway, back to what we were doing earlier then. All right, boys, we just finished the main quest line as well. Alright boys, dead zone time. We are here to finish the quest as well. Try to get the 30 kills and maybe the big boy mega zombie is down there. I think I got myself the key, crafted that. Now none of these zombies actually drop anything good since it's normal times load. We're gonna get literal junk like power plant vests. Now from down here it's actually a huge shortcut to get to the top. Oh well, we forgot the key. Alright, well I'm, I'm stupid then. Now we do have extra filters. Not that much. Hopefully enough to actually kill the big boy zombie. Hopefully he's still here because sometimes he literally does not even spawn. Maybe today, that's not the case. Alright, let's put this key card in there. Let's go. And we got the key card. There are no zombies for some reason. Alright, maybe somebody was here. I don't know. But that's not really our focus. Alright, we use the key. We are inside. Please, the zombie is here. Yes, he is. Lovely. Alright, so the trick with this guy is that we gotta just stay a bit further away. He doesn't throw rocks, he just jumps into the grounds and slams it. We do have a lot of ammo to kill him. As soon as we see him doing the jump, we just back up. And we just keep going in a circular motion. That's all you gotta do. 
He didn't. Now he will drop a military crate, which couldn't have really, really good loot. Honestly, what I'm hoping for is gunpowder more than anything. Now he is, uh, he is quite strong, though. It's going to take us quite a lot of time. All right, full magazine is out. We're hitting only headshots. So he should die soon. Oh, he's dead. All right, we got ourselves the military crate. Please give me good loot. Okay, not too bad. We got ourselves a Penumbra, SWAT vest, mercenary. We got ourselves gunpowder. Not too bad, not too bad. It could have been worse. So I'm not too disappointed with that, lads. All right, boys. So it is time for some solo raiding. I got myself some C4. You got one in that locker, but I'm pretty sure we have more somewhere. We we'll put the gun oil in there. We don't need it. I don't think I ever used gun oil in my life. Yeah, I think I can make another C4 as well. But we got one here. Billion detonators here. We'll take one. I'm gonna look around for some bases, some small raids. Hopefully, we'll profit. All right. So I found this base raid. It's some of it is metal, some of it is wood. It's very close to the dead zone, and usually that means that these guys went to the dead zone. Numerous times and they may have loot. Hopefully that's the case All right, we broke broke all of the roofs loot on the floor some crates uh, Nothing that good though four rattlesnakes a bunch of attachments a bunch of junk some ammo blowtorch Even more rattlesnakes even more Stocks they have so much stocks Jesus this one has all right ghost mask century barrel grit Gunpowder I'll take that it's another c4 we can make that's pretty good and grit. All right, uh, this raid wasn't that good. We've got the gunpowder. Got ourselves some good items. Oh, I hear people speaking. All right, hello there. All right, duo dead. And there's zombies coming. Let's punch them to death. They seemed kind of geared, actually. Poor guys were just chilling, and then I just come up from behind them. Anyway, they have a bunch of guns, some ammo. They don't actually have that good loot. They have cyan crystal. I'll take that. Another Merlin. All right, well, not too bad. Not too bad. Maybe we could salvage everything. Get ourselves a ton of metal. Alright boys, just found this weird base. It's claimed, but I don't think it's raided. But it seems raided. It's kind of like a fake base raid. We fell off, so we gotta go all the way back around. Now I do have raiding gear on me. I was searching specifically for small raids. And we found one, finally. A lot of bases on the server are actually already raided. And there's a ladder over there. Maybe we could just raid here, actually. Why not? Alright, so probably after this base raid, I'm gonna head off for today. Hopefully we get some profit in this one. Gun oil. Yeah, there's a bunch of crates, a bunch of lockers, crossbows, Polaris flower generator, bevlar, and this one. Oh my god, a lot of tape and a lot of rope. That's pretty good, we do need that. This one has even more rope, a bunch of meds. Nothing good in that one, nothing good in this one. Merlin. Uh, okay, yeah, this raid isn't that good actually. Biohazard, some metal. Okay. Well, I will go get the Brenter, and we will return and raid these lockers, probably. Alright, boys, so after that, I actually did go back with the Brenter, but all of the lockers were empty. So I'm going to spare you guys two minutes of you guys watching me raid empty lockers. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed. If you guys do want more in the future, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!